Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI has finally launched their new GPT 4.1 model. This is the same model that was launched as Quasar Alpha in Open Router, which I had also talked about a bit back. It is also expected that they'll probably release the O3 and O4 mini models this week as well, which will be great to see nonetheless. Anyway, if we talk a bit about this, then there are three models. There's the GPT 4.1 model. Then there's also the Nano model, and there's also the Mini model. This is the model that is supposed to be replacing the GPT 4.5 model, because the GPT 4.5 model was a simple model that cost a ton without omnimodality. The cost for 4.5 was quite high for the quality. And now the 4.1 model is supposed to be the pure, simple text and image modality model. These models are super fast in inference and allow you to use them quite easily. All these models come built in with a 1 million token context window, which is probably a first for any OpenAI model, which is kind of cool to see nonetheless. Another thing is, that they have about 32k token output as well. Also, these models are not the open source models, as many people had expected. So, there's that. The 4.1 models outperform GPT-40 across all benchmarks and are better at coding and everything than GPT-40. These models are super fast. The Nano model is the fastest and cheapest as well. Also, the GPT-4.1 model is on par, and not as great as something like O3 Mini in all cases, but it is a non-reasoning model, and it still doesn't outperform the base 3.7 Sonnet model without thinking, which means that it still doesn't put them above anyone yet. Although, we may see O3 and O4 Mini in the upcoming days as well, and that might allow you to use it accordingly. Also, this model will not be available on ChatGPT and will only be available on the API, which is kind of cool nonetheless. Also, GPT 4.1 Mini and Nano are also good, and they outperform GPT 4.0 Mini across most benchmarks, and even GPT 4.0, which is kind of great nonetheless. Basically, on general tasks that don't require audio and stuff, you should use the GPT 4.1 model or GPT 4.1 mini and nano as well, instead of 4.0 mini. Also, all the models have vision, which is great. If we talk about the pricing, then GPT 4.1 costs about $2 and $8 for input and output respectively, and 50 cents if the input is catched. GPT 4.1 mini costs 40 cents and 10 cents if catched, and $1.60 for output accordingly. GPT 4.1 Nano is the cheapest, and would cost you about 10 cents and $0.025 if cached, and 40 cents for output as well. This is a simple text model that you should just use for general non-real-time speech things if you're using GPT 4.0. Still, I wouldn't say that it is the best model or anything. It's pretty average. Also, the GPT 4.1 is pretty expensive. I mean, if I bump up the pricing a bit, then we can use Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is obviously insanely better. And I can get similar stuff with Grok 3 Mini or DeepSeek, which is a ton cheaper than this, and even O3 Mini, which is even cheaper than this and generally better. Now, they have also said that people who are at or above Tier 2, which means that you'll need to spend about $10 or $20 or something like that, and then you can opt in for sharing data and use the GPT 4.1 models for free via there, which is pretty great. It's similar to the Grok 3 options, and even without that, you can use it for free via the GitHub Models API which has added the new GPT 4.1 model 
and you can use it with the GitHub Models API for free through there as well. So that's great. And it is also now available on GitHub Copilot for free. And another place that it is available in for free is Windsurf. Yes. So the Windsurf guys came on the OpenAI live stream and have said that GPT 4.1 will be available to everyone, including free users, for the course of the next week. And it will also be fully free and won't cost you credits if you have a paid plan as well. So you can use it there without any limits, which is great. I have tested it on my questions as well, and it performs pretty bad. It's nothing extraordinary. It doesn't pass the hexagon or butterfly or synth keyboard tests, which is really bad by today's standards. So you won't be impressed like you get with something like Gemini or stuff. So it is still a pretty disappointing model. I wouldn't recommend you to use it. I mean, you can just use DeepSeek 3.1 comma, which is better than this. Or you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro by paying a little more. Or you can even use O3 Mini, which is also fine. And I'm also liking Grok 3 Mini, which is also insanely cheap. But anyway, if you do wish to use it with Klein or RuCode, then just head on over to VS Code and get your stuff upgraded. And now if we go to Klein, then in the settings, just choose OpenAI and set your API key and use it. Or if you prefer to use the GitHub model's free API for it, then just put that in the OpenAI compatible option and use it accordingly. I use it via requesty. So I just select that and put in the model name and use it. It also gives you $1 free credit. Anyway, if you prefer to use RuCode as well, then just go over there and in the settings, create a new profile and set up the API via OpenAI Compatible or OpenAI or Requesty or OpenRouter and set that up. Now, since we are here, let's ask it to build me a 3D game where I can fly a plane. Once we send it, you'll see that it is faster in inference for sure, which is great nonetheless. And if we wait just a bit, then it's now done. And if we run this, then it first gave an error, and then I had to ask it to fix it, and it then ran, and it works kind of well. But, like it's average, it seems like after so many days, they're catching up with 3.5 Sonnet, which is just average. So, there's that. Also, I thought that OpenAI had said that they won't be working on non-reasoning models anymore. But here we have it again. I mean, they said that they'll open source a model, but I guess that will also never happen. Let's see if O3 or O4 Mini brings anything new to the table, or they are also just as average as these models. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.